home learning year by year. Now, what I like about this book is that I can use it when making their report card or, you know, their end of year final. Yeah, like their report card, I think you call it. So it goes all the way up to grade 12. Okay, next, math, lines. So it's rules. Okay, now you can go back, and this is the best part. This is the reason for this. reverse checklist so this is everything that you might need done in a day and then every morning you get up and you just check off what needs to be done that day so it's kind of a reverse this is great if your days change like Tuesday you have stuff you know like every day is not going to be the same checklist so this way or responsibility list so this way it's all different and you can check off what needs to be done that day and it's just it's on a clipboard so you need clipboards and then it's on one of those just those plastic sheets I just printed off, it's in a plastic sheet because I don't have a laminator. So that app I showed you, you can use these cards. But again, the app is much better. So these are the cards. They're kind of cool. So every week you focus on something different for the year, right? And then the next year you go back to week one and you focus on memorization for it. The, the theory being that, so that they get the science rules down in their heads so they're not trying to learn the science rules apply them at the same time and memorize them all at the same time when they get older these are magnetic bookmarks nothing special but just magnetic bookmarks you know because we all need bookmarks or some people use paper clips creative problem solving now take a look at this book this book's pretty cool So here it is. So how does that, how do you stop the dog from getting off the roof? That's a problem. So these are giving you an example of different solutions. It could be a helicopter. It could be a slide. You could put a fence up there. You could, you know, change the dog to a reindeer. So those are different solutions. So it's all about problem solving in this book. So it's kind of cool. Drawing with children. If you want to teach kids how to draw, drawing does not come naturally. I didn't know that. I thought some people were just, you know, that it, some people were just good at drawing. This is step-by-step step for little kids and older kids, all ages. And it shows you basically what exercises to do. You start with those exercises and teaches you how to draw. So you'll notice it says in this book, it has examples of the pictures before lessons and after lessons of as young as three years old. So it's kind of cool. This is a crossword puzzle book that my son and I do in the mornings. So let me show you it. Some mornings, like Sunday mornings or something, he'll come get in bed, jump into bed when he wakes up. And so it's got the clues up here. So set the table, plate, fork, spoon, knife, whatever. And then it's got the hints down here and then we write them in here. So he writes some letters, I write some letters. And it's just kind of cool because, yeah, it's just kind of a fun thing you can do together. Now, I wouldn't buy just any book because I bought other crossword books and I honestly couldn't do them. So this is 101 fun crossword puzzles for kids. And again, uh, as young as five um, can do it so even maybe four too so I find a lot of learning can be done when they come and just sit on your lap when they're little and so there's these highlights number books these highlight books are pretty cool also the high five highlight magazines I 
could not recommend enough. And I can't find ours. I had a whole stack. But anyway, so cat counting six to 10. It starts you off little. It's a wrap. Circle the gift with zero bows. So it's got just little things, but it goes chronologically, which I like. And then one more thing for little tiny kids or even older kids. This is for kids. I created this book mainly for kids that didn't want a baby book. Do you know what I mean? Like there's older kids out there, maybe they're neurodiverse that need an older, that are doing younger things, but need, but you don't want a baby looking book to do preschool things. Like this is uh, find the number one and trace it. And he, here is color one block, fill in one square, draw a circle around the number one. So you don't necessarily have to be um, diligent or good at handwriting for this. And it goes through all the numbers. It's got, as well, it's got 10 frames in it. It's got a ton of puzzles. So anyway, I just thought that was kind of a good idea. And I couldn't find one um, at preschool level. So preschool, kindergarten level, that was Minecraft. And I thought that might be appealing to some kids. My first book about genetics, it's not bad, it's pretty good. I have a genetics unit that I got as well. And I honestly think this book is better than the study unit I got. So, and it's black and white though, that's the thing. It's black and white, but it costs less, but you can color it if you want. Of course, number blocks. Although if you have the Math with Confidence, which I recommend if you want, this is, a, now I bought several math curriculums. This is a, I did a whole video on them, so I'll link that. But this video is if you want, you know, 15 minutes with your kid of quality bonding time, and he doesn't like to sit still, he's pretty active, then this might be a good curriculum for you but it doesn't require these materials. Like you could just use Lego, she said. So it's handy like that. Um, it's, and it, they're all, the, the curriculums I've used, all the math ones, they're all about the same price range. Another one is if you want no prep math, then this is the math book for you. Again, I already did a video on it. I'll attach it at the bottom. You can see the difference between all three, but no prep. You sit down and it's really good too. It's a really good one. Now this one is the Kingfisher history book. Excellent book, definitely excellent. Don't get the new one, don't get the new one. You have to get the old one. Otherwise, if you can't find the, if you can't find the old one, the red cover, then get the Timelines of Everything book. Again, during the history, when I go into the history curriculum, I actually do, I actually um, give you a preview and show in this book, but I guess I can do it right now. So check this out. So it covers pretty much everything, Middle Ages, Renaissance, Early Middle Ages, the ancient world. So it does cover everything as far as I'm concerned, but it doesn't cover, it doesn't go into evolution. Whereas if you like evolution, you want to teach evolution, this one does start with a bit of evolution. So, it, so this one does start with evolution. This one seems to skip that part. Um, so let's go into the world at a glance. So it's got the first humans. Then it's got ancient Egypt. So it goes page by page and it covers, it just covers so much stuff. So again, you don't need a history curriculum, but I reviewed all the history curriculums and uh, I will show you um, a video on those. I mean, I bought every history curriculum that I could find, secular and non, um, cause I just wanted the best, uh, I wanted the best history curriculum. And these, one of the best things, there's two best, history curriculums that I love. This one is our Star Spangled Story, which comes when, it starts when people land in America. So I like that. And the other one, or North America. And the other one that I like is the Curious Kids. It's a conversation and they go through um, just all the different timelines, but it's a conversation and it's, it's just super great. I, speaking of which, let me tell you about a science curriculum that is awesome. I'm gonna show you a little preview on the screen because the books haven't arrived yet, but I, I read through it all. I'm super excited for it. Um, you could do, it does, so this is, it covers all the basics. So biology, chemistry, all that. And it goes all the way up to grade eight or year eight. But there's also, they also have mini dives into it, like the focus on where they just have a book that goes into it. So it's just done a little different way. And what I love is the study guide. It has, so it comes with tests and exams and the study guide is super cool. Um, so I like the study guide. So that's why I paid the extra money to get the full Kit just so I could get the, the study guide as well. So I'm gonna give you a preview of that on the screen, but when it comes in, I'm also gonna show you hands-on what it's like. I'm so excited for it. Now, another science, where is it? 
Okay, so history and science, these are your best deal. 35 bucks and they're great books. They are great books. They are Usborn. Normally Usborn's a little pricey. These are not, I don't know why. These aren't that expensive. I have no idea why, but even kids up to, honestly, age eight, you can glean something from it. And even as, even my four-year-old likes reading it. So it's just very simple, very simple books. So they contain a lot of information. The science contains a lot of information. And of course, if you're looking for science books, I mean, I did a whole book haul, so I won't go into it too much, but of course, if you're looking for science um, stuff, I again, I did a whole book haul on it, but these mini units from from The Good and the Beautiful are uh, are pretty good. Pretty good, I like, I like the mini units. They come with a couple books too, and they're not that expensive, and the pictures in them are really good, again, uh, I can link the video at the end if you want to take a look at it. All right, Human Body Theater, really good. Come here, take a look. Take a look, how cool is this? Human Body Theater, super cool. So it's got Act 3, Act 1, Act da 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 da. And it goes through, look at this. So it's like a play. You're watching a play as you learn about cells and all that cool stuff. So I definitely recommend it. Now again, I buy secular and non-secular um, secular and Christian um, curriculums, curriculums and materials, because I just want to find the best that's suited to that particular child. So you're gonna need an abacus, but the abacus you want has red on this side, and well, it doesn't have to be red, one, but it separates five and like the fives are separated as well, just so for what is it called? I always forget. So that instead of counting, they can count quickly at a glance and know five and five. That's why it's a it's a it's a specific way of counting that I have to look up for like the 90th time. Okay, Find Out Science. These are very good books as well. So this is Find Out Science. It's got a little introduction like, what is matter? What is material? Mixtures. So it's got different stuff like that. That one in science and this one in earth. What is earth? The atmosphere. So both kind of cool books. This one, an Us Born Look Inside Science book. Us Born Look Inside Science. It has a ton of flaps. This one I wouldn't recommend buying. Use any, but you can get it on Amazon. Any books that come with a lot of flaps, I never recommend buying used because I've been burned a few times when you get a book home with a bunch of flaps that are used and uh, it's not as good. So what else is there? Okay, A Child Through Time and When on Earth. Again, through the other book haul, I went through these more in depth, but I do recommend them. And I'll put a link to that giant book haul, We Became Human. If you do not teach this, then you're probably not gonna want this book, but it is good. It talks about the first human, which is Lucy, and it does talk about the Ice Age. So if you're teaching the timeline, that might be something you wanna do. This art book. I'm gonna give you a preview into this art book. Do, do, do. I'm trying to go through this fast, just so you're not bored. Okay, so basically it has different paintings. It's got a lot of information about these paintings. It has different information like painting with watercolors. It's got information about that. It's got information, just general information about each picture. So if you are teaching the timeline or you just want to teach art, there you go. It's another art one that you can just, it's a morning basket thing too, where you pull it out and you look at it and you take a look. Speaking of which, I'm gonna put two other morning basket things on the screen. One are yoga balls that are very fun. Um, you roll the yoga dice. So you roll them and there's a bunch of different positions. So if a child can't do them, they get to choose one. And uh, so based on their ages, there's different things you can do for that. That's how we end our morning basket. And the other one is affirmation cards. They were actually better than the affirmations I've been coming up with. Like yesterday's affirmation was, I am helpful. It might've been yesterday the day before. I am helpful. Okay, maps. The maps in the earth and water book. You definitely need, oh my gosh, if you have in, inquisitive kids, you definitely need the earth and water book. But this map book is great. See, so it's got Estonia. It's got, I mean, it just goes into all these different countries, right? Which I'm sure you've heard of. Belgium. Oof. So it just has Poland. So it's got the newer versions, the newer the version of this book. You can save $20 by getting the first version and it's still just as great. It just doesn't have as many countries. Like it may not cover Taiwan, for example, or Vietnam. So um, so that's all the different versions are, is they just add more countries in every time they do it, like Fiji. 
okay? So definitely a winner. And the earth and water one is, oh, anything that goes on under the water is in one half and anything that goes under the earth um, in the other half. Now, another thing I recommend every household have, and if you watch a few of my science videos and stuff, let me turn the light, you can see my young son doing them and playing with them, and it is snap circuits. They're very easy to do. They're not hard at all. These are books. Like for example, pull it out. You go just to the first project, okay? That's all you have to do is go to the first project. Project one, project one. So you copy project one. See, so you put the pieces, the D8, the R1, you put them like that, it's got batteries. And then you read this and you read this and boom, you've made a color of light and explains how. So you don't need any experience, trust me. Project two, you switch out the light. Project three, you switch out the light, okay? So super easy, so don't be intimidated. I was intimidated and didn't use them for the longest time. Kept waiting for my husband to do it with the kids. It didn't really happen, so finally I was like, all right, let me just try. And uh, surprisingly easy. I did not need to be intimidated at all. All right, so the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is another thing that I think is super cool is our kids' channel. We go to different playgrounds all in various countries, So, and we also go to castles too. So I put some pictures up on the screen that you can look at some videos, and I will put how to find our channel down in uh, the comments, but essentially you just search Finn and Locke on YouTube, and that's it. We've gone to fire truck parks, and dinosaur parks, and Playmobil parks, and pirate parks, and I do talk about them, like I'll talk about pirates when we're at the pirate park. So it's kind of cool and it's kind of interesting and uh, I thought I would just mention it because I think it's a pretty good channel. All right guys, that's it for now. Take care, bye-bye. Can you say please like and subscribe? Be right to arrive. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs> <laughs>